Our team is now tracking the damage left behind. I want to start with our Alexis Zotos tonight, who is live in South County near Butler Road and Interstate 55, is my understanding, Alexis. Getting a look at the damage there, Alexis, walk me through everything you've ran into tonight. Coming up, we are looking at your view of the damage across the area. Yeah, look at this after those severe storms blew through. It looks pretty impressive there. We want to see all of your views of the severe weather. All right, Alexis, thank you so much. We can tell from those images behind you the damage left behind. And because of those storms, heavy rains, we're also seeing flooding in some areas. Our John Kipper is at 55 in uh, Loftborough, I believe. And John, I know earlier some lanes of 55 look more like a lake, actually. We know those storms blew in and blew out. This radar here really showing us how quickly they moved out. And yes, we are severe clear for the rest of the night so we can breathe a little bit easier tonight. But Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton, you guided us through this storm as those winds were right over us, Steve. All right, Steve, we're certainly smiling because we're looking forward to that. Thanks so much. Well, first alert four, we tracked those moments. These severe storms rolled through our area. I want you to watch this time lapse with me here of the Gateway Arch. You also had to hunker down downtown while these storms were coming through. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. We're also tracking the power outages across the by state right now. About 29,000 are without power power in Illinois and about 28,000 are in the dark in Missouri. And on first alert weather days like we had today, Steve, we brought you in. We had Leah Hill. It's been a yeah. busy night for you all. We're taking a live look at Forest Park tonight. We'll be right back as those storms have already moved through the area. And Steve says we are all clear for the most part. We'll be right back.